Hi, my name is Josh Simonson, and I'm a design section leader in the Mixed Signal Products Group at Linear Technology. Today I'm going to talk about the LTC4282, our latest 12 volt hot swap controller with digital monitoring for high power systems. I will demonstrate a few exciting features this LTC4282 can enable to save MOSFET cost and ease the design of hot swap applications. Then I'll touch on some digital features in our development platform. Hot swap circuits are increasingly being used at power levels above 1,000 watts. For 12 volt applications, this corresponds to around 100 amps of current at maximum load. At such high currents, a single MOSFET switch is inadequate due to I2R heating and current crowding. So two to six MOSFETs are commonly used in parallel with their gate pins tied together to get a very low on resistance. When MOSFETs are fully enhanced in this configuration, they share current well because their RDS on has a positive temperature coefficient that makes hot MOSFETs more resistive, which diverts current into the other cooler MOSFETs. However, when the MOSFETs are regulated by the hot swap controller, the sharing between the MOSFETs is dominated by their threshold voltages, which have a negative temperature coefficient causing a hot MOSFET to dissipate more power as it heats, leading to a thermal runaway condition. For this reason, a group of parallel MOSFETs can only be relied upon to have the safe operating area, or SOA, of a single MOSFET while the group is being regulated. This makes designing a high power hot swap application that can survive worst case load and fault scenarios difficult and expensive. The LTC4282 resolves this problem by dividing the MOSFETs into two parallel banks with independent current limits that enforce sharing between the two banks. This method doubles the SOA of an application while using the same number and type of MOSFETs of a traditional solution, allowing the use of MOSFETs with lower SOA. Since SOA is proportional to die area and die area is proportional to price, this leads to significant cost savings. The LTC4282 is also capable of two types of staged architectures where the RDS on and power dissipation requirements of the hot swap function are separated into two groups of MOSFETs. Each group of MOSFETs is optimized to one purpose rather than trying to find a single MOSFET which has performance on several often conflicting criteria. The first architecture type we call low stress staged start. This configuration benefits applications where the load is held off until power good is asserted. In these applications, the hot swap only needs to charge load capacitors during startup and also needs to survive if a short circuit is present at the output. To avoid high power dissipation in fault scenarios, the LTC4282 charges the load with a low inrush current through a small trickle MOSFET with a low current limit on one gate driver, while the other gate driver turns on a group of small, low RDS on bypass MOSFETs only after the output has successfully been brought up. Since the bypass MOSFETs have low SOA, the circuit breaker timer is set to a short time to turn off the MOSFETs quickly in the case of an overload. This configuration safely minimizes the MOSFET cost for a given application. However, its ability to ride through transients, such as input steps, is limited by the SOA of the MOSFETs in the high current path. The second staged application we call high stress stage start. This configuration benefits applications where loads consume significant DC power while inrush is occurring, or for systems that must operate through significant input voltage steps without generating a fault. Such input voltage steps occur when redundant supplies are connected or disconnected from the input power rail. In this configuration, the stress MOSFET has a large SOA that can start the load at full power. Once the output is up and the stress MOSFET's gate is fully enhanced, one or more inexpensive low RDS on bypass MOSFETs are turned on to reduce the power consumption in the MOSFETs to a reasonable level. The bypass MOSFETs are turned off whenever current limiting occurs in order to divert power dissipation to the high SOA stress MOSFET. This may happen when the input voltage suddenly steps up. After the stress MOSFET has finished the heavy lifting of dragging the output up under load, the bypass MOSFETs are turned on again to minimize the DC power dissipation in the switches. High stress stage start falls between the parallel application and low stress stage start, both in the ability to ride through transients as well as in MOSFET cost. Now that we've looked at some ways that the LTC4282 can ease high power designs through applications, let's look at some of the other features that add safety and reliability 
to LTC 4282 applications. Sometimes, contamination on the board will load down the MOSFET gate driver, resulting in a low gate to source voltage. This results in greater than intended power dissipation in the MOSFET that can cause the MOSFET to fail over time. This is particularly a concern in high power applications because a gate pin may be connected to several MOSFETs and passive components, the leakages of which all add up. To address this problem, the LTC4282 monitors the gate to source voltages of the MOSFETs as well as the voltage across the hot swap circuit to ensure that the MOSFETs aren't in a state where they are dissipating too much power. When these situations occur, the LTC4282 waits for a configurable time delay then automatically turns off and generates alerts. Hot swap applications are used at the power input to a board, so it's a natural location at which to monitor power consumption and other telemetry information. The LTC4282 uses a pair of 12-bit data converters to continuously monitor output current and voltage. From these, power and energy are calculated on chip. Peak detectors store minimum and maximum readings, and digital window comparators produce system alerts at desired thresholds. Also included on the LTC4282 is an on-chip EEPROM, which allows the part to autonomously configure itself at power-up for any application. The EEPROM is also used for fault logging, general purpose non-volatile data, and can disable the hot swap on a failed board to prevent it from attempting to power up if it is removed and reinserted. Here is a photo of the front and back of our demo board. It's bigger than our usual demo board for some very good reasons. At high currents, the parasitic resistance and inductance of the board's copper traces are often higher than those of the MOSFET and sense resistor. These strays play a significant role in the performance of the circuit and require board level testing. To help with this, we've made the demo board for the LTC4282 a full prototyping platform that can accommodate a variety of different MOSFET packages and configurations. Our popular PowerPlay software communicates with the board, and an optional programming socket allows loose units to be configured for prototyping. The LTC4282 is the only hot swap IC on the market that is autonomously configured with non-volatile memory, and also the only hot swap IC on the market that is optimized for high power applications through the use of MOSFET staging all while monitoring voltage, current, power, energy, and MOSFET health for safety and improved uptime. For more information, visit us at linear.com. Thank you.